when the song comes on in the clip, they gonna be like, damn, that's hot. I didn't grow up with my father. That's too deep. <laughs> we're we're talking about here. We're not we're not gonna get into not gonna get into my problems, okay? I'm Tiny Rose, this is a curl booth, and today I will be sharing my natural hair journey with everybody. And I'm really, really excited. This video is long overdue, so let's just Go ahead and get started. All right, so I guess we can start with my ethnicity. My mother is black and my father is Mexican. And growing up, she knew how to comb my hair, but she didn't know how to let it be curly. She didn't know how to let it do what it wanted to do. So I spent a lot of time in protective styles with the ponytail here and ponytail in the back. Um, two ponytails. Anyway, so when I was about seven or eight, probably like eight, eight, I started to comb my own hair. I started doing my own protective styles. I started to do my buns and ponytails, braiding and all that stuff. I just, I loved it. And I still didn't know how to wear it down and curly. Like that's just, it wasn't even, I didn't even think it would be an option for a long time. So when I was 13, my big cousin taught me how to straighten my own hair oh my gosh i was so on she taught me how to do it with like a three inch barrel curling iron i swear i straightened it as often as i possibly could also i was still like in and out of the shop too so you know maybe from like 12 on to like high school like i was in and out of the shop getting my hair done because i'm in and out of the shop as well and getting deep conditioning treatments my hair wasn't too bad it was still, um, it was still thick and it was still, you know, shiny and stuff, but you can forget about a curl pattern, like, for real. Once I got to college, like, straight hair was just, that was my look. Like, I straightened it all the time. I didn't really try to do the curly thing until maybe, like, 23 or something. Like, I would just try, try to wear it, and it just didn't. It would curl. I mean, I just, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to make it curl. I didn't know what products to use. I didn't know anything about a Denman brush. But it wasn't until cut to January 2011, I was like, all right, look, I want to wear my hair curly all the time. That's what I want. That's my look. Fortunately, I had my sister, like she would send different videos of people um, and their journeys and, and tutorials and whatnot. I just went on a binge and I was just on YouTube just and I did. I stuck with it for a year and it wasn't until January 2012 when I just kind of looked around and I was just like, all of my hair curls, like it's all, it's all curling, like all of it. It worked. Also, I didn't do a big chop. I just cut off as much as I possibly can myself. So I was just in the mirror, like just cutting pieces and cutting pieces. And it was pretty short, but it wasn't like it wasn't too drastic. So for the next three years, my hair is long and glorious, honey. My curls are juicy. It's healthy. I'm taking care of it. I'm not even doing like a bunch of treatments to it. I'm not trying to make it grow. I'm just doing my routine. Deep conditioning every once in a while when I remember, which was not even that often, but it grew a lot and it was very healthy. And it grew so much that I was like, oh, I'm bored. So in 2015, I cut my hair. Um, I just wanted like a different like shape. I wanted something fun, not to, I wasn't cutting for length. I just wanted like a style because it was just kind of long and like blah, but I just, I wanted a style. So I cut it and I liked the cut a lot. Between 2015 and 2017, my hair had basically grown back to the length that it was before I cut it. So it took two years to grow back, I don't know how many inches, maybe like three or four inches maybe, without trying. Now I'm at the point where I was before and I get this itch to, ooh, I want purple ends, but I want the ends, I want you to be able to see the purple. So guess what? You gotta bleach it, girl. So I bleached it and it turned out terrible. Everything turned out terrible. It was, I had, I just had too much black color and it couldn't lift. So I had to leave it on way longer than I should have left it on and it just ruined like the ends of my hair basically. It was flat, it was limp, it was it was embarrassing. All right, so yeah, I just I decided like that's not the move. I I don't want to transition like that. The contrast is too great, so I'm just going to cut off. And that's what I did. So I cut it and that video popped right up there. You see that? And as soon as I did that, curls went right back. We're not completely, I'm not completely out of the woods yet. I can still see where the damage is at the ends, like the hair doesn't 
curl immediately like I like it used to. It takes a little while, like it's straight, and then it'll be like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to curl. So now that I've shared my hair journey, I want to see you guys' hair journey. Hit me up, tag me in your pictures, your updated pictures at the curl booth on Instagram. I want to see, I want to see that change, that dr the drama. I want to see all of it, honey. Like, share, and subscribe if you have not already. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You guys, this has been great, fantastic. We're gonna do it again soon.